Hello everybody. Hope you're all well and happy and enjoying life. I thought I'd do a video for you on how to do just a very simple, easy winter look. So I know a lot of you are not um, bothering too much about makeup these days, working from home, etc. It's winter and we're not going out all that much. But when you do, and when you do feel like poking yourself up a bit, a little bit of makeup really does make a difference. So I'm going to show you some really simple, easy things to do just to brighten your face up and make you feel good and look good. Okay, so I'm going to start off with just creating my skin with some hyaluronic acid. That's the Hyla 3D in the Jamarini range. This is really fantastic just to plump the skin up. It's like a, a skin plumper and it just adds volume and adds moisture and hydration to skin. So uh, put that on first and don't forget your neck and don't forget the backs of your hands as well. So put that on first and give your skin a little bit of a pat and a plump. And then I'm going to put some of the Hyla 3D uh, lips on around my lips. So when you do this, this is going to help to plump the lips up. So just cover lips. Mm -mm. And that just goes around the outside. So do that first. So by the time you finish your makeup and then come to do your lips, then that will go on really lovely, beautifully and smoothly. So because we're getting into winter now, uh, I've gone a lot fairer like most of us do. So I'm going down to a number four in the face atelier and I'm just going to take a tiny bit like that and use my foundation brush. This is a great little brush, it's a vegan one. I've just got some really great new brushes in which I'll show you in more detail another time. But this one's really good, foundation on one end and concealer on the other. So that's a really good, I think it's on the website actually. And so just starting off in the middle of my face, And even though it looks like I put a lot of makeup on then, it was really all blending. I've still got that much foundation left. So with the found, uh, Face Atelier, it is highly pigmented. It's a pro product, so you only really need a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is a concealer. And this is really good just to brighten around underneath the eyes. So the best way of doing concealer is just a little bit on the inside of your eye there and just on the outside here. So in that corner there, that can sometimes get a little bit shadowy. And we also want to put a little bit on the top of the eye just to smooth out any darkness or redness over the top of the eyes. I'm using this gorgeous new brush that um, I've just gotten, another vegan one. I'm going to put them on the website, but this one, let me just tell you, it's a concealer brush and it's a 536. If you want one, just give me a ring and I can organize it for you. So what we want to do is just sweep the concealer in the direction of the bottom lash line. So we're going to follow the lash line around and sweep up onto the temple and that's just going to give a lovely lift to the cheekbones and you can see just blending that in that's just lightening the whole eye area and use the brush let the brush do the work as i always say so there you can bring the brush right up underneath the lash line so that you can eliminate any of that darkness or redness underneath the eyes I've just got a little bit of eyeliner there, just a little bit of a shadow at the moment. So now some blush, and I'm using a new color called Palm Beach. It's a lovely sort of a peachy color, and this is a cream. And you know I love creams because they just give a lovely dewy effect to the skin. And I'm bringing that color up to the temple so that I'm lifting the face. So you can see that that's just giving me a really lovely, fresh 
open look. Okay, so I just want to add a little bit of warmth to the eyes. So I'm going to use this colour here called Bare Face and this colour here called Cactus down the bottom just to give a little bit of warmth to the eyes. So I'm using my big fluffy brush and you're going to say, what number is it? So that is a number um, 535 and this is gorgeous just for your highlight. Now you might decide that to just leave it there and just do a lovely lip. But if I want to add a little bit more depth because it is winter time, I'm using my lovely chisel brush. And this is just called crease brush. <laughs> so this is a round brush and it's especially to fill in the crease area on your eyes. So this one I'm going to load up directly like this onto the dome of the brush. I'm going to knock out the brush on my hand or on a palette and I'm just going to do a windscreen wiper across just above my crease. And I'm going to do my trusty mud bath gel liner on my lash line and on my tight line. So this just goes underneath the lashes. And you can see that's very easy to apply because it's so soft. And sometimes that's just enough just to do your tight line and that'll give you enough definition. I've already got some mascara on. So now I'm just going to do some lips and I'm going to use my one of my favourites, Caramel Latte in the Lip Sense. But I'm just going to do a little bit of a lip line first. So I'm just going to use a little bit of a, a lip liner first. This is called Nude. Start in the middle of the bottom lip and really fill your lip line out. Don't go right into the corners because that can sometimes flatten your lip line out. Smush that in. And you might just want to do a lovely gloss over the top of it, but I'm just going to do some caramel latte. Always make sure that you give your lip sense a really good shake and you can hear the balls inside. Make sure that it's really mixed properly because the minerals sink to the bottom and then you get an uneven tint. So give it a good shake every time before you use it. Let the first lip layer dry and then second layer. And then I'm going to do gloss. Smush. Gloss is lip sense as well, shea butter as well, but it's just a really lovely colour. There's Lots of different lovely lip gloss colours as well as the glossy one and the matte one now and the sand. So that's um, that's a quick look. So here's our finished wintry look. Um, nice and warm, not too much. Just even out skin tones. A pretty lip colour that's going to stay on. And don't forget with your lip scents to make, make sure that you keep putting your gloss on. All right, and last thing is just a last minute tip my wellness tip today is a little bit of face oil and I'm going to tell you about the face oils in another video. These are amazing. I've just got these in. So a little bit of face oil, just a couple of drops and do this. And I just pat that over the top of my cheekbones like this. And this just gives a really beautiful moisturizing glow. It's moisturizing your skin and it's also just around your eyes, not too close to your eyes, but it's also giving you a really lovely dewy glow, which is really nice because we all tend to get a bit dry and matte in the winter and rub the rest of it into your hands. So embrace oils. I'll tell you more about that later. Okay.
I hope that's um, been useful and take care of yourselves and be beautiful and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.